We're not here today to bash someone else's mother. No, no. Our hope is to point to the beauty of our mother. There's no godliness except from God. Mm. The non Castedonian church specifically was to say, hold on, we're uncomfortable with this. Mm. Disregarding that or talking about anything with that being not foundational is, is the epitome of absurdity. Mm. Mm. Please don't do that. Don't tell somebody what they believe. Mm. If you want to know what a group of believers genuinely believe, ask them. Because like, like Father Anthony mentioned, what we do see is we do see saints and they're, they're virtuous saints and the depth and the richness is there. There's been a beautiful dialogue that has been taking place, but challenges remain. Mm -hmm. You know, Christine Cheo <laughs> mentioned to look in a liturgical text, right? If you want to know what a people believe, look at their worship, look at their liturgy. And I remember Bishop Daniel uh, Findikian before he was when he was before he was a bishop he was um, serving at a the Armenian seminary in New York and he came to give us a liturgical theology course at the Coptic seminary in New Jersey and he said the same exact phrase if you want to know what a people believe look at their worship mm -hmm. open their worship books yes and more recently. I was at the Antiochian village during a residential week and had the pleasure of meeting a very, I believe, holy and, and pious man, Metropolitan Saba. And um, he was sharing a story with a number of the uh, MTH students in the cohort because there were also a few Copts that were, were present and uh, I was I was there and observing this, and and he said, you know, that he was one time at um, at a at a liturgy in Wedina Trun when he was still a monk. This was several decades ago. Where is Wedina Trun for those? Oh, who sorry, know? he was at Saint Beshoy Monastery in Wedina Trun in Egypt. Yeah. it's uh, the Skitis where there's a number, a cluster of monasteries, uh, where in some ways. The, the the birth of monasticism uh, or the creative monasticism in the deserts of Egypt uh, came about. So he, he was at a liturgy there and he was standing next to a Coptic Orthodox monk. And when they came to the fraction and he said, Father, pull it up, pull it up. And he made me read it. It says, and I'm just going to read it. He says, this is the life-giving flesh which your only begotten Son, our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from our Lady the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotoko St. Mary. He made it one with his divinity, without mingling, without confusion, and without alteration. And he said he was standing next to one of the monks, and he started elbowing him, and he said, wait, that's what we say, <laughs> right? That's at, you know, um, at one of our councils. And the monk said, we'll talk later, you know. <laughs> um, but if you want to know what a people believe, look at their worship, look at their liturgical yeah. texts. Don't tell us what we believe. Ask us and listen to us and look at what it is that we say that we believe. Or stand next to us and pray with us and you'll see for yourself. Yes. Yeah.